for some reason, y'all wanted to see mineral body sunscreens. <laughs> and like the people pleaser I am, here I am with a video, so keep watching. Now listen, mineral body sunscreens, like if you've watched my mineral sunscreens for darker skin playlist and or you've seen any of those videos, um, you'll know mineral sunscreens can be a bit to contend with um, when you have a deeper complexion. And we were contending with some contenders on the face. The body though, that is a whole different ball game. Like, there are things you can do to the face that can help to mitigate some of that white cast. You can put your makeup on to kind of help bring down the cast. Now, it's not gonna save you from flashback, but you know, at least you won't be outside looking like, you know, ghost face killer, right? But the body though, that's a lot of surface area, right? So I bought a bunch of mineral body sunscreens and I also have some chemical um, body sunscreens that, you know, I was just like, yeah, let me throw this in this video as well. Um, because you know, the summertime is coming, although you should be wearing your sunscreen from head to toe year round, you know, we're gonna be out more. So we need to definitely be thinking about um, making sure that we have the right type of sunscreen on, that we're reapplying, that, you know, we're protecting our skin. People who get irritated by chemical sunscreens on their face can sometimes tolerate a chemical sunscreen on the body, right? Now, to find out if you're one of those, you'd have to actually try it on your body, but do a patch test. Don't slather a whole bunch of sunscreen on your body and then hope and pray that you won't get irritated. Now, if you are someone who still, after that, realize that you cannot wear a chemical slash organic sunscreen on your body, then here's some options. <laughs> As it always is when it comes to my sunscreen reviews, I have tried these over a period of time, um, you know, in different scenarios and whatnot, and then I have my notes here, so I'm gonna break it on down to you. You probably will notice here that most of these sunscreens are in a spray format, right? I would have to say, in my humble experience, that this is probably the better format to go if you're looking to use a mineral body sunscreen um, and you have a deeper complexion because the way that the, the particles are sprayed through the aerosol, it makes it a little bit less detectable. Now, a little bit less detectable does not mean invisible, okay? So first up, the Beauty Counter, Counter Sun Mineral Sunscreen Mist SPF 30. Um, this is broad spectrum. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes. I would say that this is probably gonna be one of the better ones. Um, it's nice and sheer, blends really nicely into the skin. Now, you're still gonna get a slight cast on your body. It wasn't horrible, so it wasn't like you dipped your body in flour and you know went on for the day. It's a very subtle cast. Um, one thing that you're definitely not gonna get is you're not gonna have like that natural radiance. I do feel like this kind of dulled my shine a little bit, my little natural radiance that I have on my body skin, it, it, it dulled it a little bit, but I would say this is definitely one of the better ones. Next up from Babo, or Babo, I'm gonna say Babo, <laughs> Botanicals. This is their Baby Sun Mineral Sunscreen Spray. This is a non-aerosol. Even when something is not in an aerosol, but it's still in a spray, I still feel like it can do a little bit better than some of like the thick creams. Um, Replenix had some mineral sunscreens that were in the same format that were really good. Um, but that's the only comparison that I can give because I found this to be a hotness when it came to the white cast. And on top of it, like giving you a bad cast, like it's hard to work into the skin. So I had to like put in some like elbow work to kind of like just, ugh, like just, it was, it was a lot with this one. Some good things about it though, it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. Um, it's fragrance free. Um, I mean, you know, your baby ain't gonna be posting pictures up for the grand, so I guess it doesn't matter. What matters more is that your baby's being covered than, you know, I guess their skin like being radiant or whatever, but this was the ashiest, probably the ashiest out of all of these ones here. Now, one thing to kind of be careful when you're looking at mineral sunscreens, whether it's for body or face, um, is to kind of check the ingredients in the back. Cause sometimes they can say mineral based 
or it'll say that it has mineral ingredients in it. And then you turn it around and it also has one of like the chemical slash organic filters in it, which is not a bad thing. But if you're someone who is particularly sensitive to the chemical slash organic filters, you know, just want to make sure that you carefully read the ingredients. And then you also be careful because it may not even say something like oxybenzone or oxytinoxate. It might say this. Anyway, next up, the Sun Bum Mineral Continuous Sunscreen Spray. This is an SPF 30. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes. Now this does have like a coconut smell to it, which I typically don't love coconut smells, but this wasn't too, too bad with the, you know, with it being overpowering or anything like that. Um, I will say that this was one of the better ones. It's nice and sheer. You might not get much of a cast, um, but you're also gonna dull the radiance in your skin. Like, your skin's not gonna look as radiant, but you're not gonna look like, you know, Ashy Larry. So, not bad. So the next one is from a company called All Good. However, it was not All Good when I tried this one. Um, actually, the full name is All Good Makes Everything Better. This is their sports sunscreen spray. Broad Spectrum SPF 30, water resistant up to 80 minutes. They made it a point to point out that the zinc in here is non-nanoparticle and they're not lying. <laughs> Them, the zinc was zincing. Now, the thing with the non-nanoparticle, there's no like scale like to measure which, which what's considered nano, what's considered non-nano. So, you know, just so you know, just so you know. Now, this doesn't leave a white cast. It leaves a gray cast. <laughs> this was so ashy. Whew. But but I will say, because in comparison to this one, at least this one was a little bit easier to kind of like rub into the skin. It wasn't like, you know, pulling it on. I tried another product from this brand. I got it from Target. It was in a tin. Um, I believe it was kind of like a mineral sunscreen balm. That one was okay. Um, and I'll link the video where I, I tried that out so you can get more information, but... I would say like, if you wanted to use something like this, um, <laughs> maybe if you were going like mountain climbing and this was all they had in the store before you, you know, got on top of the mountain and cause you forgot your sunscreen at home and you didn't really care about, you know, cause you're going on the mountain so you don't really care about the white cast, then maybe you would get something like this. Other than that, it's a no for me. Now, also from Babo Botanicals, this is their sheer zinc sunscreen for extra sensitive skin, SPF 30, 80 minutes water and sweat resistant um, and fragrance free. Now, this was $15.99. This was a great one as well. And when I say great, I mean in terms of it being a mineral sunscreen. Um, this is a better uh, budget option, whereas this is $36, this is $15.99. And you know, they're both six fluid ounces. Um, this one is probably the most sheer, the easiest to put on. Now with body sunscreens, you're going to want to spray them in your hand and then rub them on your body. You can spray them on your body, but still you want to make sure you rub them in so that you're getting a good coating. You're not missing a spot. Um, because with the spray sunscreens, you do tend to like, maybe some of it gets on you, some of it's on the floor, some of it's in the atmosphere. And make sure that you're not spraying this someplace where it's like windy. Um, because then you don't want to get this in your eyes or accidentally ingest it because, you know, ugh. Now here's the thing. Now this goes on sheer, but when you, you know, put the adequate amount on, you're probably going to have some sort of white cast. Um, and the least bit, if you're not getting like this, you're not going to get a blatant white cast, but you are definitely going to see like a decrease in your skin's radiance. So you're not, your skin's not going to look as radiant with that on, um, but I would have to say that, you know, out of these, that, you know, these were the two best ones. All right, my bad if there's a position and lighting change, I done took down the camera and everything was about to be done, and I realized I forgot one. So this is the Sesmoi Sunshine Mineral Sunscreen for Face and Body SPF 40, broad spectrum, water resistant, up to 40 minutes. This was surprisingly really good. So unlike the other mineral body sunscreens, this one actually is a lotion. You can use it on your face and body. I found that this was, the, the cast is very, very, very like, almost undetectable with this one. It's really, really, like when you put it on, it might look a little like, 
you know how some sunscreens can look a little bluish, a little purplish, um, but when you let it like, you know, give it some time to settle, to get ready to get dressed, it's, you know, it's gonna not look as bluish. Um, you're gonna get some radiance in your skin and you're gonna get, probably you won't get much of a cast, um, if you have a deeper complexion than mine, you might see a little bit of cast with this. While this was nice for my body, um, and you know, of course it says you can use it for your face as well, I found this to be a bit greasy for my face. I have oily skin. Um, I do prefer more of like a satin matte or even sometimes a satin finish where it's not like dewy, but it's not matte. I don't like anything that's like completely like matte matte on my face. I feel like that's very hard to pull off. Um, but on the other side, something that's very dewy is also really hard for me to pull off having oily skin. Um, even, then, even though it's not even that warm yet, it still was a little bit too much for my face. Um, my body skin is of course drier than my facial skin. So this wasn't bad on the body. Um, and actually, it actually looks really good. Um, but I have to say like the cast, my skin's not gonna look like how it would look if I had, you know, put on a regular chemical sunscreen without the zinc in it. But this looks really good considering that this is a <laughs> mineral sunscreen. Um, I picked this up at Target. I will say one drawback, while the $15.99 price is really great, um, you're getting 3.4 fluid ounces of product. That's a really great price considering that some of these mineral sunscreens can have half the amount of sunscreen in it and be sometimes, you know, more than double the price. Um, for a body sunscreen though, you're gonna go through something like this relatively quickly. So whereas this is not like my, you know, my two for five, you know, um, store brand, it's, it's really good for something that's cosmetically elegant. If you're someone with dry skin and you want to use a mineral sunscreen, this might be more up your alley. Um, but I do find that you're probably going to go through it relatively quickly if you're using it on your body because you know the body just a lot of surface area. You know, who wants to not be radiant? So I picked these up from Fenty Beauty. So these are their body sauces. I picked up the two deepest shades. Um, Chocolate Resign is the deepest and then Cinnamon Sizzle is the second deepest. I would say that Cinnamon Sizzle is probably the best match for my skin tone, but I'm still keeping the deeper one because if I get a tan or if I want to kind of look like I got a tan, I would use this. So these are kind of similar to like the MAC Face and Body Foundations. I haven't had a chance to wear these out in the elements because although today when I'm filming it, it's the first day of spring here in New York City, um, you know, weather just ain't catch up just yet. You know what I'm saying? So it's been cold, so I haven't been able to go outside with this. But um, what this does is it gives you a nice even color. It's not gonna do a ton of coverage, but it's gonna kind of even the color out a little bit more. So it might be something to look into to put on top of this. Another one that I like is uh, Melanie Mills has Gleam. She used that on me when I, you know, got to meet her in person when I did the television show The Real, she put Gleam on me, that's gorgeous. That's another option. Um, it comes in a bunch of colors. They have like a golden one, um, they have a bronze one, then they have like a rosy gold one. Like depending on your complexion, you know, you pick whatever shade or whatever look that you want to go with. Um, and there's also a spray. So you can spray that on your legs, your arms, what have you, so that it gives it a little bit more um, protection. Now here's the thing with these. Don't go wearing your, your cute all white outfit and not expect to get some of this on your cute white outfit. I do think that maybe initially you won't have that much transfer, but you're gonna be outside, you're gonna be sweating. Um, you know, maybe you run by a, a fire hydrant real quick or a sprinkler and you get wet. It's gonna, you know, reactivate it. It, it. it can get a little messy. So I would still be careful with like body makeup and stuff like that because I, I, me personally, I don't trust anything to be like completely transfer proof, but those are things that you can put on top of it so it doesn't look as like ghastly and like non-radiant. I did also pick up some chemical body sunscreens. Now, to know me is to know that I don't like to spend a lot of money on a body sunscreen, but I wanted to, you know, some of y'all like bougie products and whatnot. So I did pick up another bottle of this Moroccan oil SPF 50 body lotion. Um, it's broad spectrum. 
uh, water resistant up to 40 minutes. I actually got this in PR, um, not this one, this one I actually bought myself, but I actually got this product in PR when it first came out, loved it. They, you know, they sent me a bunch of other bottles um, and I was like, let me, let me buy another one for the video. This smells really good. I do often prefer something that doesn't have fragrance in it if it's going on my body because I typically like to put perfume on and I don't want like the interaction. If you've ever tried Moroccan oil products, it has like a, a little bit of that, but I feel like I'm smelling like, I don't know, it smells like a Tahitian flower like kind of thing. It doesn't exactly smell like Moroccan oil hair products, um, but it has like a really nice, pleasant tropical scent that isn't overpowering. And it's gonna give you a nice little sheen when you put on. So if you're looking for a bougie, you know, body sunscreen, you know, have at that. Um, also, I picked up from Super Goop the new glow screen body. This is SPF 40. It's water resistant up to 40 minutes. Um, and a PA of a, actually put their UVA rating on here. So this is a PA of three pluses. Um, I just happened to see this on Sephora and I was like, oh, let me get that. Cause I know some people like the glow screen face sunscreen. This, I felt like you don't need this <laughs> because essentially what it looks like is like a regular sunscreen with like gold or like bronzy looking sparkles in it. The sparkles that are in it, like this, this, they're so slight and subtle that I feel like just buy your regular, go to Walgreens, get your two for five sunscreen for your body, right? Cause they make dupes of like some of the popular drugstore ones. I'll buy the popular drugstore ones too. But you know, just so you know, for the most part, I'm like two for five. I feel like you can buy a regular body sunscreen and get probably more product for a fraction of the price. And if you so desire some gold, subtle sparklies on, on you, you can go to the drugstore or I'm sure there's something in your makeup cabinet somewhere that you can just kind of put on your body if you want that. I, I, $36 and it, to me it wasn't worth it, but you know, to each his or her own. Also, if you like the concept, but you want something a little bit cheaper, Coppertone has a glow SPF. Um, it also comes in a 50, so I will link it below so you can check it out. So that is all I have to say about body sunscreen. Well, for now, <laughs> in this video, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have way more things to say about other body sunscreens, but leave me a comment below. Are you someone where you're like, I have to wear a mineral sunscreen even on my body? Um, let me know that experience and which sunscreens you typically tend to use. Everything's gonna be linked below. So if you're looking to buy any of these sunscreens, it'll be linked below, check it out. Follow me on social, the links will be in the description box, and I will see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.